The magical properties of this spell will only have lasting effects if you focus on... <laughs> no! Rebo Dash! Ugh! How in Equestria does that pony expect to pass her History of the Wonderbolts exam tomorrow if she's wasting time flying? I'm just gonna fly right up to her and tell her what I think about her lackadaisical approach to studying. Won't she be surprised? Surprise! What? Huh? How did you... Please, Twilight. That was the worst sneak attack ever. What? But I saw you giving me the stink eye from the ground. And heard you flying towards me and muttering from a mile away. Well, if you heard me muttering, then you must know what I was muttering about. Yeah, yeah, the Wonderbolt's history test. No big deal. No, big deal. Really big deal. It's a test. A test that will determine if you can join the newly formed Wonderbolt's reserves. And being part of the Wonderbolt's reserves means you'll have the opportunity to live your dream as a Wonderbolt. This is the most important test of your life. Twilight, not every pony gets all freaked out about tests like you. I do not get all freaked out about tests. Uh, seriously? Your freakouts are so epic, you sing whole freakout arias about freaking out. Fine, I may tend to take my tests a little seriously. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be studying for yours. Ah! And I know just the pony who can help you. Me! This is gonna be so much fun! Sure. Fun. My little pony, my little pony. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete to have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? <laughs> ah! Wh huh? This is the most complete and ginormous book on the history of the Wonderbolts. Okay, but how am I supposed to get what's in there into here? With my handy-dandy study checklist, of course. Of course. First up, reading and highlighting. Reading and highlighting is the foundation of any good study method. It allows the student to hone in and boil down on what's really important, separating the good from the bad, the wheat from the chaff, getting to the crux of things. Let's see what you've got so far. Um... Huh? Hmm, by highlighting everything, you don't really separate the wheat from the chaff. Or the good from the bad. Hey, I am not that tall. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Rainbow, clearly reading and highlighting is not your style of studying. So let's move on to the tried and true. History lecture. Yes, Rainbow? Is it snack time? No. Recess? No. Ugh. Can't we just watch the History of the Wonderbolts movie? No. Now, just get comfortable and experience the magic of learning. Ahem. <clears throat> Prior to the great Celestia Luna Rift, there was no need for the Earth Unicorn Pegasi, or EUP Guard. <sighs> but after Luna's banishment, the protective pony platoons were formed. On the anniversary of the first celestial year of peace, a celebration was held. <laughs> Headed by General Firefly, an elite team of aerial performers were chosen to help commemorate this auspicious occasion. The first performance was so full of energy, so highly charged, that magical lightning showered down on the crowd. Every pony was so filled with amazement and wonder that General Firefly dubbed them the Wonderbolts. Rainbow Dash, can you repeat any of my lesson? Lecture? Nope. <sighs> okay, Rainbow. Rainbow? 
Revo Dash! Here! Let's move on to my favorite style of learning. Flashcards! Oh, does that mean I'll learn in a flash? One can only hope. Colonel Purple Dart, the leader of the Wonderbolts in the Fourth Celestial Era, was known for his... Wah! Rainbow, did you see what happened? What? No! I was riveted by your captivating cards! Hmm... After becoming the official flying squadron for Princess Celestia, she honored them with... Gotcha! Go what? The original Wonderbolts Lightning Bolt insignia was... Ah! Rainbow Dash, you could have hurt me! With a spitwad? Really? A spitwad to the eye would have been no laughing matter. Well, if you can horse around like this, then you clearly must be ready for the test. Clearly! Well then, I guess you're also ready for a... Pop quiz! Bring it! The initials E-U-P stand for what? Ernie's Undercooked Pancakes! The original aerial team performed for Celestia's Serial Celebration. The Wonderbolts were given their name by this famous Pegasus. Who is she? Please don't say Colonel Waffle. Hello, General Blazing Donut Glaze. <laughs> so, did I ace it or what? Or what? You didn't get one answer correct. What? B but how? I don't know. I've never heard answers so wrong. And so, breakfast-related. If you had taken the official test today... <gasps> My dreams of being in the Wonderbolts Reserve would have been totally crushed! Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm running out of time! I don't know any of this history! I'm gonna fail! <laughs> I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail! And it's all your fault! My fault? I'm the one helping you. Maybe your famous study methods aren't all they're cracked up to be, eh, teacher? Excuse me, I've used them to study for many a test and passed. Yeah, right. Do you know the name of the premier Wonderbolts choreographer? Uh, well, Commander Easy Glider. Do you know how many Pegasi flew in the original squad? Um, seven. Do you know Princess Celestia's favorite flight pattern? The Icaranian Sun Salutation. See? I could pass the test. Fine. Rub it in, why don't you? Besides, I don't see why I have to take this lousy test anyway. I've proven I'm one of the best flyers around. Knowing their origin and being able to properly represent them for all of Equestria is just as important. Yeah, right. Some history buff like you must have made that up to bring us flyers down. Knowing history actually is beneficial, Rainbow. <laughs> Beneficial for eggheads. Girls. Well, this egghead knows history and can fly. Maybe I should become a Wonderbolt. Just because you've got wings doesn't mean you can fly. Girls. You're barely able to just get off the ground. <gasps> Girls, stop! Now, is that any way to talk to a friend? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Don't you have more important things to do, like prepare Rainbow for her big test? I've tried everything, Fluttershy, but none of my study methods work for her. Well, no offense to your teaching methods, Twilight, but I think I may have a way to help Rainbow. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Celestia and Luna, back when they were happy. Gummy's an Earth Pony, Winona's a Unicorn, and Tank is a Pegasus. They're the EUP, helping to protect the princess. Uh, how are you getting all this? Confusing 
I just want to go home. Whoa. Hey! Whoa, your woes there, Woeful. Some ponies learn through theatrical presentation, but other ponies learn through musical intervention. <laughs> What? No! Really? <laughs> but I've got to learn this stuff! Now! And I am just the pony to help! Rarity, you look ridiculous. I am going to ignore that comment out of my desire to help you. Good luck. Get ready, Rainbow Dash, for I am going to take you on an historical adventure in fashion! I am now modeling the rather unattractive and, uh, frankly, itchy original Wonderbolt's flying costume. Fortunately, thanks to the vision of Flair de Mer, the Wonderbolt's ensemble became more streamlined in a wonderfully breathable fabric. Of course, there were fashion hits and misses. Just look at those dreadful bell bottoms. What were ponies thinking? I don't know! I bet General Flash wrecked these things! Ah! Pinky, you're real! Of course I'm real! I mean, I'm not the real General Flash, the tenth leader of the Wonderbolts, but I, Pinky, am really real. And I'm Admiral Fairy Flight from the Seventh Squadron. And of course you recognize Commander Easy Glider. And I'm sporting some sort of get-up worn by Colonel Purple Dart. <laughs> Just look at us! Look at us! Look at me! It's too much for my own! Now, don't you fret, Rainbow. This fashion show nonsense wouldn't help me learn nothing either. Really? Well, what special study trick do you have, AJ? Who, me? Oh, I got nothing. Ugh. Why, I could tell you every little thing there is to know about the history of apples, but I picked all that up over years in the field as a labor of love. How much time you got? Twelve hours. Oh, then you are up a creek. Well, I think we should just go back to old-fashioned studying. What about our play? Just look at these costumes. Surely something resonates with your inner Wonderbolt. And Granny Smith discovered the first Granny Smith in Philadelphia when she was just a filly. Commander Easy Glider was the real cream of the crop. Pinky, stop rapping. That isn't going to help Rainbow. Well, I suggest you put down your silly cards of flash, for I know that they cannot help our good friend Rainbow Dash. Well, I No rapping, no cards, no costumes, no play, and no apples. I am never gonna pass this test, ever. Just forget it. Rainbow, I'm sorry about all that. We didn't mean to overwhelm you. It's okay. You were just trying to help. It's just too bad I'm too dumb to learn anything. You are not dumb. You just learn differently. If by differently you mean not at all, then you're totally right. No, that's totally wrong. See? Wrong again. I don't know any pony that's read more Daring Do books than you. Well, that's not gonna get me into the Wonderbolts. And your knowledge of jokes and pranks is only rivaled by Pinky. Great. My years of being a class clown prevented me from actually learning how to learn. That's not what I meant. You're smart, creative, inventive, and... <gasps> hey! I know you're upset, but you don't need to... Whoa. I almost slammed into that. 
I know. You were jabbering on so much you didn't even notice. But how did you notice? You were listening and talking to me the whole time. <laughs> You're such a rookie. An experienced flyer like me knows how to multitask. While you fly? It's essential. Yes, I was paying attention to you, but was also scanning the sky and the ground for any problems. Really? Flying's not just flying. In order to stay safe in the sky, I gotta hear and see everything down to the littlest detail. For instance, I saw Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo come out of Sugar Cube Corner, and from the looks of it, they had carrot cupcakes with sprinkles. And I'm thinking Big Mac sold a huge order of apples to Filthy Rich, because I heard him give a very hearty... Yup. I always make note of everything when I fly. No biggie. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Gotta go. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't want to hang out with a loser like me either. Yeah. Thanks for meeting me, every pony. What is it, Twilight? We have to help Rainbow Dash. Yes, but how? We've tried every kind of studying. My way, your way. But we haven't tried Rainbow Dash's way. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Okay, listen up, ponies. Here's the plan. Hey, Rainbow. Wanna go for a fly? <sighs> sure, got nothing better to do. Didn't we just do this? Yes, but like you said, I'm such a newbie, I need all the practice I can get. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll become a great flyer in no time. After all, you're good at everything. So, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just getting my dreams crushed. Uh, read any good books lately? <sighs> just history books. I tell you what they're about, but my brain is as dry as a rock. Speaking of rocks, did you know Pinkie Pie grew up on a rock farm? <laughs> Maybe I'll go work there since I have no other plans for the rest of my life. Oh, come on now, Rainbow. You can't give up on your dream. Seems my dream has given up on me. Maybe I'll learn to shine shoes, sell hats, dig ditches. Or maybe you'll be a wonderbolt. Twilight, give it up. I have. So, what do you remember about that flight? <sighs> Nothing important. Except after Luna was banished to the moon, Celestia needed protective forces, so Earth, Unicorn, and Pegasi formed the EUP guard of the protective pony platoons. Yes? And at the celebration of the first celestial year of peace, an elite flying squadron performed, headed by General Firefly, who later named the group the Wonderbolts. Uh-huh. Commander Easy Glider established flight choreography that is still used by the Wonderbolts today. Yes? I... I know the history. I know it all. But how in Equestria did that happen? You learned it! Yeah, I got that. But how? Well, on our first flight, I discovered that you catalog everything that happens all around you when you're flying, without even thinking about it. Don't you see? I made use of your special skills by enlisting every pony to help you learn the history of the Wonderbolts! I, Princess Celestia, banish you, Princess Luna, to the moon. No! Yep. Let us celebrate our first celestial year of peace. Yeah, let's party! I'm General Firefly. Gee, my costume is itchy and unattractive, but I'm gonna assemble an awesome flying team! I'll call them the Wonderbolts! Streamlined style by Fleur de Mer. Admiral Fairweather. Colonel Purple Dart. Admiral Fairy Flight! General Flash! Commander Easy Glider! The 
history of the Wonder Books. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Thank you! Thank you all so much! You're welcome, but it all came from you. You learn without knowing you're learning. Your main focus is flying, but then your brain is also absorbing lots of other information. It's actually really brilliant. <laughs> I always knew I was brilliant. <laughs> Rainbow Dash finally learned the history of the Wonderbolts, but she's not the only pony that needed a lesson. I needed to learn something just as important. One way of learning isn't better than another. After all, every pony is unique and individual.